I will say, though, if there is an overemphasis of the passion on the one hand, the opposite is true in the new paradigm. That's true. Um, right. Goodness Good gracious. Point. We are an Easter people. It's like, what? right. <laughs> um, and, and they and they use that to they use that. I mean, that's the main point of SSPX is like they use this Paschal mystery Easter only thing to mm -hmm. say, like, well, you should never kneel to receive communion. Like, yeah. let's add the resurrection to the stations of the cross. Let's just all that's bad. Let's not do that. You know, yeah. they've used it to really destroy things. Yeah, you're right. And, and it's true. And the Eastern thing, because, you know, everyone even knows I'm soft on the Orthodox. I love me some Easterns, but. But I think it's wrong to emphasize Eastern theology in Western Catholicism, in Roman Catholicism. Not, and again, we're talking about liturgical reform here. We're not talking about um, how theologians and Catholics may understand the depths of the Catholic faith. That's different. I mean, you know, you're you're a you're a Roman Rite Catholic, and you like the Jesus Prayer and the Chot Key, and you pick up the Philokalia. Like that's great. I mean, if it, I mean, you know. But like, there's lots of things in the East that seem completely insane. Not insane, I shouldn't say that. They seem they're un, they're an incomprehensible to the Western mind. Like theosis, yeah. theosis is a wonderful term, but to the let's say uh, Thomistic mind, it, it, you know, like like surface Thomistic, it might come off as pantheism. You know, you're going to become God. Whoa, what does that mean? I mean, you know. We find that in Bonaventure, obviously, in this communion prayer, like, of course, there's, there's, we can understand that, but it's very difficult for the Western mind to understand. Um, in addition, um, they do emphasize the mysteries in the East, for sure, but they live the passion more than we do. Um, their life is constant fasting and suffering. Um, so if they are emphasizing the redemptive, mysterious aspect of Christ's salvific activity, this is true and that's a wonderful thing but they live in a way more of the passion in their daily lives and in the liturgical rhythms than we do in the west so it's balanced whereas what happens with the new paradigm is that the atonement and etc is not emphasized at all and and then it's not lived at all 